Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update part 1 is out. Here's 21w20a and in this video we're going to take a look at all the technical changes in this version. If you're interested in the gameplay changes then there's a main update video up for that already on the channel. It'll be linked here in an iCard. I suggest you watch that first before we get into the technical changes in this version, which include a new NBT tag for entities and a new block processor type for custom worlds. Let's start with entities and data and that new NBT tag. It is called has visual fire and it will make any entity with that flag set to appear on fire even if they are not logically on fire. A bug has been fixed with entities as well where piglins, piglin brutes, hoglins, zoglins and axolotls would attack their own teammates. A bug has also been fixed where if you specified the level of the light block in a block state tag as an integer then the wrong icon would be chosen. A single fix for advancements in this version. The Minecraft colon location check predicate had a floating point imprecision problem that has been fixed in this version. Sound event fixes here as well. Sweet berries and glowberry sound event names are now more consistent. A couple of changes to the structure block interface. Barrier blocks and light blocks are now shown if you have the show invisible blocks setting set to on. A fix for a statistics field. The statistics for minecraft.used colon minecraft.potion now increases when you fill a partially filled cauldron using a water bottle. Tag news in this version. The bee growables tag now contains both types of cave vines block, not just the base block. There's a new block tag, it's called features cannot replace. By default, this contains bedrock, spawners, chests and end portal frames. Fossils and amethyst geodes will not replace these blocks when placed into the world. And tropical fish has been removed from the default settings on the axolotl tempt items item tag. Let's talk about changes to custom worlds. Amethyst geodes have been moved to an earlier generation step that is applied to all vanilla overworld biomes. And the geode feature itself has got a new configuration field. It is cannot replace and it contains a reference to a block tag containing blocks that cannot be replaced when placing the geode into the world. And there is a new block processor type, it is called protected underscore blocks. The effect this has on structure placement is that it will prevent those blocks from being changed by the structure. For an example of this you can see the fossile underscore rot dot json file and it has one single configurable field called value and that is the id of the block tag to check for blocks in. And finally stability and performance fixes for technical features. If you try to modify the world height of a world after it had already been generated, then the game would crash. That is fixed in this version, but you will still mess up the world if you tried this, so don't try it. And those were all the technical changes in this version. I hope you found this update video useful, and if you did, please help me out in return, drop a comment, leave a like, or share the video. Any interaction with this video will help out the channel, so I do appreciate it. Thank you also to some folks who helped out in the making of this video. Thank you Jock Cool, Noinancer, Vegwid, and Violin. And thank you also to you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you found this interesting and you want to see more of this type of content, then please subscribe to the channel. I make update videos of both gameplay and technical news for every snapshot, pre-release, release candidate, and full release of the game. And of course, don't forget that pesky little bell icon so you get notified by YouTube when the videos are done. Thank you for watching. My name is Slice Lime, and I'll see you next time.